That's why they call it an ice dam. We broke the dam. Look at that water just pouring off the roof. Oh, wow. That is just really amazing. I'm glad that's not going in your living room. Really? <laughs> <laughs> well, let's try the saw some more. Yeah. Way left. Yeah. be a nice spring day somewhere and I would have never thought we'd be using a chainsaw on my roof to cut through an ice dam but I'm glad that we did and there's still tons of snow I figure there's 40 tons of snow on my roof and that's going on all over town but today is the first day of spring on the calendar at least but winter is not over yet as far as the weather goes it is Monday March the 20th 2023 spring arrives at 2:24 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time. Now, does that look like spring weather? Well, it's probably spring somewhere, but not here, even though today is the first official day of spring on the calendar, but we've got some more winter on winter weather on the way, and I would have never thought that we'd be using a chainsaw on my roof to cut through an ice dam, but I'm glad that we did, as you saw all that water just pouring off my roof, and that's going on all over town. But today is the first day of spring, so on the calendar, winter is over, but another snowstorm is on the way, and the forecast calls for more snow later this week. It is Monday, March the 20th, 2023. Hello everyone, I'm Snowman. I'm no snow, snowman, Dan McConnell, snow weatherman. Um, just over 12 inches, 12 hours. Boy, it's just blowing hard out here down in town this morning. Really ripping 40 to 50 at the top of Mammoth Mountain. And uh, just over 12 hours of sunlight this time of the year. As the sun rises, rises about 7 a.m. and sets about 7 p.m. just after 7. Uh, down at Mammoth Airport this morning it was 31 degrees. Barometric pressure is still low at 29.84 with overcast skies at 12,000 feet. And it looks like it's clearing now over the valley, but we can expect some scattered flurries throughout the early morning hours on Monday over the mountains. Um, 37 degrees in Bishop, 29.84, exactly the same barometric pressure in the morning with scattered clouds at 10,000 feet, but again, it looks like it's clearing over the valley. It was in the mid-20s here in town, 13 up at Mammoth Mountain Summit with 40 to 50 mile per hour winds from the southwest, and over the June ticket off, it was 28 degrees. Today's forecast, a chance of flurries early, then clearing skies with temps in the low 30s here in town as we are in between exiting systems and another approaching system that will bring more snow sometime on Tuesday, maybe early in the morning flurries already, then becoming heavy with another foot or two above 7,000 feet in Mono County as this area uh, remains in the target zone of the next system. A few showers will continue along the crest on Wednesday with the zonal flow keeping clouds in the area uh, through the region into Friday and Saturday, then a break on Sunday the 26th. Um, with a wide range of possibilities at the end of March. So will March come in like, or came in like a lion? Will it go out like a lamb or a lion? I hope it goes out like a lamb, like many lambs. 16 to 20 inches of new snow reported up at the main lodge, about 16 at Maine. 634 inches for the season with a base depth of 305 inches. That's 25 feet at the main lodge. Uh, you have to walk down to the sunset, or uh, sun deck. Um, 13 lifts expected to operate today, about 15 groomers and lots of powder. Over at June Mountain, they reported 25 inches of snow in the last 24 hours under sunny skies. Imagine the runs on the face over at June this morning. Uh, trivia today, 
1760, the Great Fire of Boston destroyed 349 buildings. Whoa, pretty much the whole city in Boston destroyed by fire in 1760. 1947, uh, the, a blue whale weighing 180 metric tons was caught in the South Atlantic. Now I think that's more weight that's on than, than what's on my roof. 1967, Twiggy, a thin little girl from uh, Britain, came over to visit the U.S. for the first time. 1999, uh, Legoland opened in Carlsbad, California. You know Legos are some of the strongest uh, block structures on Earth. And B.F. Skinner's birthday today, boy it's windy, I hope you can hear me. Uh, Mr. Rogers' birthday, actor William Hurt, Spike Lee, and Kathy Ireland, and also some uh, locals, John Coulter, Bruce Barnhart, a photographer, uh, Teresa Sullivan, Francis Hutt, Sarah Herschel Plock down south now, used to manage with uh, Dane up at 1849, Jason Hooper's birthday, a local guy, Karen, or Corinne, Corinne Roller Kaufman, used to live here in town, Alicia Cuppins, who was born and raised here, happy birthday Alicia, hope you're doing well, and a bishop boy, David Pearson, so you're in good company if it's your birthday too, happy birthday to you, make today the best first day of spring ever, and we'll see you riding some powder, but after, actually I have to go shovel my roof and some good friends of mine are coming to help. So thanks to everyone that's helping out anyone that they can. What a winter, one for the record books. I kind of hope we don't see another one like this in quite a while. If ever. The roads are slick and the buses are running, so if you don't have to drive, take the bus just slowly creep out into the intersections when you're going on to the main roads. Don't just punch the front end of your car out too fast. Everyone seems to be pretty considerate, but you just never know when someone might pull out in front of you.